Hello everybody, welcome to 2021 and this information session where you get to meet some of the teachers and get to know a little bit more about what is expected during the course of this year. I want to start with our vision, which speaks about a positive attitude, it speaks about being kind and respectful, and it speaks about each individual being encouraged to participate and reach their potential. And that's really what we're about at Camps Bay Primary. And I hope that that is going to apply to each one of our learners this year as we tackle what is obviously going to be a challenging year. And speaking of challenges, we obviously know that COVID is going to be with us for some time to come. And we are doing everything we can to make the school as normal, but as great as we can. And we know that COVID has had a significant impact on our learners, and we are doing everything we can to minimize that. We also have uh, the process of SGB elections um, coming soon and information to this effect has been sent out. And I want to really urge parents who are interested in making a contribution to our school to put their names forward or make themselves available to stand because we need the expertise, uh, we need the assistance um, and we look forward to working with a strong SGB as we tackle uh, the next three years. Uh, if the SGB is not your thing, perhaps you'd like to be involved on the PA where you get to work with other parents uh, in fundraising and in projects that assist the school. And I will be meeting with Dr. Laura Chella in the coming week to discuss ways in which uh, the PA are going to get more involved this year. So there's lots of opportunity for involvement uh, and we really are grateful for your support. And we hope that this is going to be a really good year in spite of the challenges that we are facing. We must remember that as we move along, we are adapting and we are learning. And that is a positive process. But we do hope that the impact that COVID has had on us is going to become less and less as we proceed through this year. And that we will again be able to uh, enjoy our community in the way that it should be enjoyed. Thank you very much. We follow the CAPS curriculum at Camps Bay. In the foundation phase, we have four learning areas. Home language, English, first additional language, Afrikaans, mathematics, and life skills. Life skills is broken into beginning knowledge, creative arts, physical education, and personal and social well-being. We also offer Isi Khalsa as a second additional language. It is not a formally assessed subject. We have an integrated approach. The languages program is integrated into all other subject areas. Language is used across the curriculum in all oral work, reading and writing. Many of the listening and speaking language skills will be developed within mathematics and life skills too. Our instructional hours for the week, grade R, 1 and 2 is 23 hours and grade 3 is 25 hours per week. Parent portal. All parents who still need to register can email computers at campsbayprimary.co.za for instructions. And what will you find on the portal? Newsletters that were emailed and your child's personal information. But most importantly, it is where you find the termly learner assessment reports. Right, Google Classroom. Um, I'm sure that many parents are now familiar with Google Classroom because I'm sure that was our saving grace during the lockdown. And Google Classroom is Camso Primary's academic online platform. Um, we would like to encourage all learners um, to have access to this platform. Um, they all received an email, so they just would need to accept the email. Um, there are discussions underway to permanently integrate this into our academic program um, with the vision um, for the school is to communicate all academic related content via this platform and um, not just to use the Google Classroom um, during the lockdown period. So watch this space. Just a little bit on assessments. First of all, there are two components to assessments. The one is informal assessments. Um, these assessments the teachers use to informally assess the learners. And the reason why they do this is that during this time, the teachers are able to design intervention strategies um, to help the learners before they do their formal assessments. Formal assessments, this is used for progression and promotion. 
um, progression, meaning um, to see if they can move on to the next grade in the foundation and intermediate phase. And then promotion means that they'll be promoted in the senior phase. Right, foundation phase, um, they do continuous assessments and all tasks that they do uh, have a 100% weighting. Intermediate and senior phase, they are set tasks and it's very grade specific. Um, parents will receive or should have received already a term assessment planner which plots all the assessments for the term. At the moment now we are still waiting clarity on the overall weighting of tasks. Um, in previous years, that was before 2020, the weighting in the intermediate phase used to be 75% for school-based assessments and 25% for the final year test. In the intermediate phase, it, sorry, in the senior phase, it was um, SBA school-based assessments 40% and the final year test, which was 60%. Last year, because due to um, um, the academic year that we had, um, that was revised and SBAs were 80% and the final was 20%. We're still waiting on clarity from um, the DBE on whether it will be 80 or 20 or if we will revert back um, to the normal weighting as we had in 2019. Academic focus after COVID, um, at the end of 2020, our teachers conducted an extensive analysis of results and the learner's understanding of the specific subject. We looked at the strengths and the areas of concerns and the present grade um, used the analysis of the previous grade to inform the 2021 planning. And our main focus this year will be the gaps in the languages and in mathematics. SBSD is the school-based support team. The primary purpose of the school-based support team is to provide a structured support system for teachers and parents when students are experiencing difficulties, whether it is academically or emotionally. In the foundation phase, the learning support teacher is Ms. Julie Skivington. In the intermediate and senior phase, the learning support teacher is Ms. Anita Portgeta. We have two intermediate facilitators, Ms. Graham and Ms. Manan. We also have a school counsellor, Mr. Ferreira. The importance of communication. We believe in the importance of maintaining and constantly improving communication with parents. We believe in developing an open and inclusive relationship with you. Should you have a query involving your child, please contact his or her class teacher first. Then the grade head, then the phase head, myself or Ms. Hamber in the intermediate and senior phase. Then the deputy head of academics, Ms. Vasahi, and then Mr. Story. The grade heads are as follows. In grade R, Ms. Lyons. In grade one, it is shared between Ms. Brownlee and Ms. Yankalovitz. In grade two, Ms. Burns. In grade three, Ms. Swart. In grade four, Mr. Lewitz. Grade 5, Ms. Gill, Grade 6, Ms. Weldon, and in Grade 7, Ms. Hamber. Welcome Moms and Dads, my name is Angela Lyons and I've been teaching at Camp State Primary for the past 15 years. I've been very fortunate to have taught throughout the grades at the prep campus and have loved every moment. I look forward to a wonderful year ahead with your beautiful children and will strive to provide an environment that is rich in language, mathematics and most importantly, focusing on the holistic development of every learner. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Welcome to Reception Grade. My name is Nicolette Lehman and I've been teaching at the Campshire Primary School for 13 years. I started teaching in pre-reception and I've been teaching Reception Grade for the last 7 years. I am a wife and a mother to three kids, Anzio, Noah and Gialli. I'm so excited about the upcoming school year. We are more than just the class. In this class, we are friends, teammates, creators, art leads, wink wink, explorers, heroes, and so much more. Thank you for entrusting your precious gift to us. We can't wait to make beautiful memories and have lots of fun in the process. Welcome to Grade R. I am Miss Jody, and I'm sure we're going to have a wonderful year filled of learning, laughter, and most of all, fun. We are very excited to meet you all and I've been teaching at Camps Bay Primary for 19 years. I started teaching pre-reception grade and moved to grade R five years ago. I can't wait to have an amazing year with you all.
Hello moms and dads and welcome. My name is Angela Lyons and I'm the Grade R Head. Usually by this time of the year we would have had our parent meeting where we would have been able to inform you all about the ongoings in the school. Due to COVID we have had to make many changes to activities that the school previously offered but fortunately we have been able to maintain an enriched learning environment and can assure you that your child will receive the best education at our beautiful school. I hope you find the information below helpful and informative and if you have any further questions, you are welcome to contact your class teacher via email or Google Meet. So we'll begin with our curriculum. The Grade R's follow the CAPS curriculum set out by the South African Education Department. And you can download the curriculum at www.education.gov.za. There are three main learning areas, language, mathematics and life skills that we cover. Language is 10 hours a week, mathematics 7 hours a week and life skills six hours a week. In language, we focus on listening and speaking, reading and viewing, phonics, handwriting and writing. In mathematics, we follow number and operations and relationships, patterns, functions and algebra, space and shape, measurement and data handling. And then life skills, we, we look at beginning knowledge and personal and social well-being of your child, performing arts and the visual arts. Our themes for the first term, we are looking at all about me, my family and my five senses, homes in the past and present, pets and farm animals, what are, what are the differences, shapes, patterns and colours, and the season, autumn. In Grade R, we start with the paired reading program. This entails you and your child reading together at night, or more you as the parent reading to your child and your child listening and following the story with you. You'll discuss the characters in the story, how the story started, what happened in the middle of the story, how the story ended, and you'll discuss the story with your child focusing on comprehension skills. When you have finished reading with your child, you will then write the name of the, of the story on a paired reading sheet, and as well as their comments of how they enjoyed the story. And when you have filled up 10 spaces on that reading sheet, you will then return that sheet to school and your child will then receive a reading certificate which will add on to our school caterpillar. These handouts will be sent home in your child's reading packet with further information supplied. In the morning, school starts at 8 o'clock. Please arrive at school latest 10 to 8 as class starts at 8 a.m. sharp and register is taken and any latecomers must report to the office. We have a variety of activities on our timetable. Listening skills with Mrs. Bain on a Monday, speech and drama with Mrs. Band. On a Tuesday, we have music with Mrs. Abrams and show and tell. On a Wednesday, movement with Mrs. Grinneberg. Thursday, little leaders with teacher leader Carmen. Afrikaans with Miss Serilda. Corso with Miss Queenie. And on a Friday, we have sport with Coach Butch. You can find your child's personal timetable in their message book. Absenteeism. If your child has to miss school for illness, please send a note or email explaining their absence upon their return. In the event of infectious illnesses, kindly notify the school immediately. Please plan your family holiday trips to take place during school holidays. The nature of our school program is based on learning experiences which cannot simply be caught up. Children thrive in a climate of routine, both at home and school. Any absence is disruptive and unsettling for them. School dress. Grade our children should dress comfortably and in clothes suitable for messy activities. It is essential that their clothes be clearly marked with their name. All learners should have a spare change of clothes kept in their school bag and preferably tackies to be worn. Discipline. We try to encourage positive discipline at our school. We encourage our children to use critical thinking. We try to teach them positive conflict techniques so that they can solve conflict, conflict independently. We will ensure that the child or learner understands what behaviour is expected and why. A warning is issued of time out, time in or removal from the group. Continued misbehaviour needs firm and prompt reaction. We use a three warning procedure. Shouting is strongly discouraged. The child may be removed from the group and placed in time out until that child is ready to accept rules or treat others with respect. Discipline will be implemented as a tool to further and ensure learning and not purely as punitive measures. The main departure point of all discipline 
will be to foster an attitude of self-discipline and respect. We are very fortunate to have a number of therapists on site. We have a wonderful occupational therapist, Tamar Ovidia, speech therapist, Jody Bagel, physiotherapist, Louise Brewster, and a remedial support teacher, Miss Julie Skevington. We wish all our children a fabulous year in grade R. Warm regards from the grade R team. Bye. I'm Mrs. Abrahams and I'm very excited to offer a wonderful choir opportunity to all grade R's on a Wednesday morning from 20 to 8 until 8 o'clock. Hi everyone, I'm Mr. Sass, the Primary School Sports Coordinator. We're very happy to have our sports program fully underway. I hope everyone's thoroughly enjoying it. If there are any questions around sport, you can email Coach Butch on sport at campsbayprep.co.za.